Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we're doing sort of a part 2 to a video I made last week where we swapped the moons of Jupiter and obviously the rings of Jupiter with Saturn and its rings and its moons so yeah if you remember last week we put all of Saturn's moons around Jupiter and then we put all of Jupiter's moons around Saturn and we also had to swap the rings so it's a pretty cool thing and you guys um wanted the, the episode where um I do Uranus and Neptune, so that's what we're doing today, because, yeah, this should be pretty interesting, since it's the two blue planets, and I do like these guys, so, yeah, ne Neptune's just the best, though, I, lo I love that planet, it's so nice, I love it, <laughs> yeah, so, Uranus and Neptune, so, let's get straight into this, and also, guys, last week's episode, when I made this, it got 17 likes, that's, that's pretty good, uh, well, you, that's quite a, quite a lot more, usually we get, like, 10 or something, but 17, that's pretty good, so, yeah, keep it up, that's good, and also, guys, we're closing in that 1,200. Can't thank everyone enough who subscribed. You're awesome. Let's see if we can try and get it before September. That would be awesome. Anyway, let's get into this. So, Neptune. So, we want to add moons to Uranus like this. So, let's add moons. So, now the moons of Neptune should be around Uranus like that. So, now we delete Neptune. And then Uranus is here. So, look at that. Looking good. So, then what we need to do is need to select all of these moons here like that and then press auto orbit so they don't fly off in all the random directions so let's slow down time quickly just to see if they're orbiting so hopefully they all have orbits now so all right perfect okay so that's done for uranus so now we want to head to neptune so let's put on flashlight mode so we can just see so neptune let's go over here and now let's add uranus to neptune so what we want to do here is going to put uranus here so right there so yeah, Uranus is slightly larger than Neptune, if you didn't know, so... Right, now we're going to add moons to planet like that. So we got them. All oh, these moons are on their side. That's going to be pretty weird, actually. Okay, okay, yeah, we're, yeah, we're, we're, we're well with that. Okay, that's fine. So now we're going to go out of here. And Uranus is a lot more spread out, it looks like. There's a lot more stuff around Uranus or Neptune. Or Uranus, just to say, so... we oh, have got mixed up there, so... I want to go all to orbit again. Then just um, hit play just to see if they were orbiting. So yeah, all of Uranus's moons are now around Neptune as we can see here. So that's looking good. Okay, looking good. So yeah, there we go, guys. So now we can start this. So I'm going to head to yeah Neptune first while we're already here. And we're going to add the rings of Uranus around it. So let's do that right now and add. So yep, yeah, there we go. So we swapped the um, rings. So now you can see them there. Orbiting Neptune faintly there. You can see them. So there we go, there's Neptune done. Now if we head back to Uranus over here. Now the thing is with Neptune's rings, they're quite faint. So I'm not going to add them in for this because they're called ring arcs. And they're like incomplete rings. So yeah, we won't add any rings around Uranus. We'll just leave it the way it is. So let's now see how this is all going to work. So Neptune's moons around Uranus. Yeah, Neptune definitely has a lot less moons it looks like than Uranus does. So head back over here, hit play. And apparently Neptune's not orbiting the sun anymore. Okay, so... Let's see what we got. So, speed this up. And all of Uranus's moons are orbiting slightly weird, but... Oh, well. Some of them are quite high up here, but let's see what we've got. So, where's the light? So, that's Titania. This is the largest moon of Uranus here. So, it's about the size of Pluto, I think. It's maybe a little smaller. Yes, there's Pluto. What about Charon? How big is it compared to Charon there? So, where is it? Yeah, so it's yeah, a little bigger than that, actually. So, that's good. It's decently sized, it's nothing extreme. The moons of um, Uranus are very small compared to the other moons, so that's not good. Then we've got Ariel, that's quite, I think this is quite a well known one. Uh, who else we got? Umbriel, Oberon, yeah, I recognise all these. Yeah, the main ones I think of are Miranda, so Miranda should be, yeah, there's Miranda there. I always think of that one. Ariel here, Umbriel. Oberon and Titania. They're like the main ones I would know if you asked me that. But these guys here, to be honest, I've never actually heard of these. Like, I've never really looked into the moons of Uranus because then the, I just, I don't know. Uranus isn't like I um, said in my Q&A. Uranus isn't high on my list of um, like which planets I like the most. So, yeah, it's my second bottom uh, least favourite planet. Mercury is my least favourite. Uranus is the second least favourite. But yeah, so I don't really know the moons, so we've got stuff like Juliet here, um, Puck, yeah, but I believe um, mo the, mo ma the main five here, they're named after characters from The Tempest, like a, sh a Shakespeare poem, or play, a, a Shakespeare play, yeah, that's it, 
Yeah, they're named after characters from there, but I believe they've run out of names, so some of these moons are not named after some of the characters in that, but I believe that's how it works, um, like the character names. Then we've got some further ones out here called Francisco, Steviani, yeah, like, I just, I don't even know. Right, but some of them are quite a fair distance, so if we look here, so this is the furthest moon away from Uranus, so if we look, you can barely even see Neptune from it, you can just see it right there with the rings, well, you can only see the rings, but... Looks like Neptune is so far away, it's just completely blacked out. So we're, we're actually heading to Neptune right now. So can we, how close do we have to get before we can even see Neptune? So closing in still, and there it is. So yeah, Neptune is not really even visible from the furthest moon away because it's just not really big enough. So yeah, there's Neptune with Uranus's moons. Now if we go to Uranus, we should have Neptune's moons around that. So let's head here. So who have we got? So where's good old Triton? So it's probably this orbit here. Yep, there we go. So here is Triton. And that colour, that is, it does not look like that at all. It's got to be more of a white colour, like that. And it has a bit of, like, purplish sort of, like, colour, I believe, on it. Okay, that's too much. What am I doing? So it's something, it has, like, I know it has, like, sort of, like, purpley blue, like, spots on it or something. So, I don't know, something like that, maybe? I don't know. They need to add a custom texture for Titan, that, or Triton. That's one of the ones I really want. But, yeah, we'll just leave it like that for now. Yeah, but a custom Triton texture, that is, like, the one thing I want in this game right now. So yeah, there's Triton, that's the main moon of um, Neptune. So we've got all of these guys here. I believe um, there's one called Nered as well. Yeah, there's or Nereid, or have you say it. This is quite... Um, I believe this has something to do with Triton, actually. Like, there, there's a theory with this and Triton, like its orbits are really weird and stuff. But sadly, we can't see that since I did press Auto Orbit, so it resets the orbits. But yeah, I believe this is a, there's a um, theory behind this moon and, and Triton, about how this was affected by Triton. Because if you didn't know Triton, we be, we think it could be a captured dwarf planet, or it's um something that didn't form around Neptune just because of the way it orbits Neptune. Because it orbits, I believe it orbits clockwise, and everything else orbits anti-clockwise. So it's like it could be a captured object. It could be basically formed somewhere else in the solar system. Maybe it was like an object like Pluto, a dwarf planet, and then it was too close to Neptune, and Neptune captured it. So you never know. Because yeah, I don't think we think. Um, this was, I don't think Triton was formed around Neptune from what I've heard, so that's pretty interesting, but we've also got some other moons here, yeah, I really don't know the moons of Neptune or, or Uranus and Neptune very well, they're just, because we've only ever visited Uranus and Neptune once with Voyager 2, we don't know much about them, it's not like Jupiter and Saturn where we have visited them twice, or actually a few times we've seen Jupiter with um, the Voy or the Pioneer probes, I think, um, we've seen it with Voyager 1, Voyager 2, and then we saw it with the Galileo probe, and then Saturn we sort of um, Voyager 1, Voyage 2, possibly the Pioneers, I don't know, because I don't know much about them, and then obviously Cassini, so we know a lot more about those planets, but Uranus and Neptune, the ice giants, we don't know much about these guys since we've only visited them once, and due to where they are in the solar system right now, they're sort of out of our reach since, because um, the way we um, visited the planets was we um, slingshotted off Jupiter to get to Saturn, but the problem is, we can't slingshot off Saturn to get to Uranus, because Uranus is all the way over here now. So, yeah. Because Jupiter and Saturn have done a lot more years, or they move around the sun faster. So, yeah, these guys are sort of out of um, line now. Because when Voyagers, or when in the 70s, when the Voyagers were out, they were all in a perfect line, so we could slingshot to Uranus from Saturn. But now Saturn and Uranus are too far away, we can't really slingshot from them, so... Yeah, we can't visit these guys for a while, sadly, but yeah, it would be really cool to visit Uranus and Neptune and just have a whole probe dedicated to them, because, yeah, we could find some new, probably find some new moons, some new, like, interesting things about the moons, and also discover more about the planet itself, like, how it works, what its composition is, and stuff like that, it'd be pretty cool. So, yeah, that'd be pretty interesting. So, let's see how far, so the furthest moon from Neptune is this moon here, so Pissamath, Pis Pissamath. PSA math, yeah, PSA math, pretty much. I don't even know how to say it. So that's pretty weird. Let's move it to the front of um, or let's move it to the other in front of Uranus, so we can actually see it. So somewhere like here. So can we see Uranus from this moon? So let's have a look here. So let's um, turn all that off. And no, we can't. No, it doesn't look like we can. So if we land on the surface here, put labels on. So whereabouts is it? So. Uranus should be there, so it's right there. So if we turn labels off and look very carefully, I, I can't spot it. So yeah, 
these moons are pretty far away because you can't even see it. Because remember from last week's episode where I did Jupiter and Saturn, swap those moons around, you could see Jupiter and Saturn from the furthest moons out. So it may just be because the ice giants are smaller than Jupiter and Saturn, but also these guys do seem pretty far away. Like if we look here, that's quite a big distance from the orbit of Uranus, but I don't know. Is it just because they're small or is it because they're far away? Like we can look here. How far away is this? So how, how many lunar disks is that? So 122 distances of the moon, I think that is. So that's pretty far away. And then the furthest one from Neptune, how much lunar disk is that? So 122, and this one is, let's have a look here. I think this will be smaller. 61. So yeah, the furthest moon of Neptune is a lot more far away than the furthest moon of Uranus because obviously these are Neptune's moons here. So yeah, there we go, guys. So it's pretty interesting stuff, actually. So if you want a better look of everything here, have a good look. So here is um, Triton over here. Looking good around Uranus. Let's actually just leave it on realistic mode. So nice um, view there of um, Uranus from Triton there. Now if we go to Neptune again, have some nice like cinematic shots around Neptune. So here's good old Neptune with Uranus's rings. Then where are some of the moons at? So let's go to Titania. That's the largest one. So have a good look here. And there is Neptune from Titania. Looking good. And we should see some of the other moons around. So let's have a look here. So... Ariel is over there. You can just see Umbriel there. If you look there around the white circle, you can see Umbriel there. Ariel is here, I believe. It, yeah, that was Ariel. Where are the other ones? So, Oberon is there. We cannot see that at this point. But if we speed time up, we may be able to um, see them. So, keep an eye out on Oberon and some of the other moons. So, you can see Ariel there. There's Ariel. Where's Miranda? Can we spot Miranda? Probably not, because Miranda is quite small. Oh, there, there it is. So, yeah, we can't see Miranda, but Ariel, on the other hand, we can spot that. If you look carefully there, you can see it, the shadow of it. Let's just put it on flash light, just so we can see. So, yeah, there they are. We'll also put the background on all black, so we can see... Wait, which is it? Uh, there it is. Uh, nope, not that one. That one. So now we can get a real look of what the, where the moons are. So we've got Ariel over there. So if we zoom out a bit, just get a little better view. So... Is it, um, that's Puck, a moon called Puck. I always thought that was a moon of Saturn, actually. That's pretty weird. So, also got Oberon. There's Oberon down there. So, if we look here, zoom in on this guy, and then look upwards, we should see the... Oh, yeah, there's, there's Neptune there. So, there's another moon. That's Umbriel again. Let's just, just put labels on so we can see. So, Ariel is there. Miranda, Puck, Juliet. There's one called Juliet. Or Juliet. Is that Juliet? Yeah, Juliet. Umbriel. Where's Titania gone? But there's Titania, so you can see Titania from Oberon here. So yeah, these moons are visible from each other. But obviously, like, the ones really, really far away, you would not see them from these moons. So they're just too small and they're too far away. So yeah, there we go, guys. Hopefully you all enjoyed this video because, yeah, it was pretty cool. So yeah, that is it for the video, guys. So yeah, like I said, hopefully you all enjoyed. Make sure you did hit that um, like button, subscribe for more helps on the journey to 1,200 subscribers. Leave a like as well, I guess. Like, let's see if we can beat last week's record, I guess, of 17 likes. I guess we can do that. Don't really ask for like goals much, but why not? Let's do it. Yeah, but there we go, guys. So make sure you all have a good day. If you've got any ideas for another video, leave them down in the comments. I've got so many ideas to get through right now because there's been a lot of comments recently. So, yeah, leave your idea down below, and I'll hopefully get around to it at some point. But, yeah, there we go, guys. So I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.